requested video for back to school, so I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe it down below, and let's get started! For the first hairstyle, I'm going to take a section of hair above both ears, twist them upwards, and then tie them together at the back of my head with a clear elastic band. Then I'm going to flip the tail around the elastic so the hair is twisted on both sides, and then I can take my hair scarf and lay this over the elastic band. Now I'm going to bring all of my hair over the left shoulder, divide it into three sections, adding the ends of the scarf into the two outer sections, and then I'm just going to braid this hair into a regular three-strand braid, crossing the side strands under the middle strand working down to the ends, and then tie off the end with a clear elastic band. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to start by placing my hair into a high ponytail, tying it off with a hairband. Then I'm going to pull my hair scarf through the hairband so the center of the scarf is under the band. Then I'm going to divide my ponytail into two halves, adding one side of the hair scarf into each half. And then starting with the right side, I'm going to twist the hair around the hair scarf to create a rope braid, tying off the end with a clear elastic band. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the hair on the left side, creating a second rope braid, tying off the end with a clear elastic band. And then I can take both braids, wrap them in opposite directions around the base of the ponytail, and pin them in place with bobby pins. As you wrap and pin the hair, you can pull on different sections of the braid to make the bun bigger, and you just want to make sure to maintain a sense of symmetry as you're wrapping and pinning the hair. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to start by tying a scarf around my head. It helps to slide a bobby pin over the scarf at the back of the head before tying the top. This will help keep it in place without sliding around. But then I'm just going to take a section of hair on the left side of my head and wrap it around the scarf. Then I'm going to add in a new section of hair and wrap it around the scarf a second time and just continue adding hair into the section, wrapping it around the hair scarf until it reaches the back of my head. Then I'm going to repeat the same steps with the hair on the right side and to keep the loops from slipping back out, it can be helpful to slide bobby pins into each piece just to help hold them in place. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to create a Dutch braid on the left side of my head, so I'm picking up a section near the part, dividing it into three smaller pieces, and I'm going across the side strands under the middle strand while adding new sections into the braid and working down towards my left ear. Then I'm going to stop adding new sections into the braid and just continue braiding the hair in a regular three-strand braid, and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom so it doesn't unravel. Then I can go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make it a little bit fuller, and then I'm going to combine all of my hair together into a low ponytail, adding the braid in last, and tying it off with a hairband. Then I can remove the bobby pin from the end of the braid and tie my hair scarf around the hairband. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to create a French braid along the top of my head. So I'm picking up a section near my forehead and dividing it into three sections. And I'm going to cross the side strands over the middle strand while adding new sections into the braid. And I'm only going to bring in three sections of hair on the right side along the part line and on the left side along the hairline. And then I'm just going to braid the section a little further down without adding in any new sections and tie off the bottom of the braid with an elastic band. Now I'm going to divide out a large section of hair on the right side from the braid down to the ear and bring this up to the braid. I'm going to grab a second elastic band and wrap this over the new section a little higher than the previous elastic. And after wrapping the elastic band, I'm going to remove the first elastic from the end of the braid and unravel the braid. Then I'm going to wrap the elastic band once more over the hair but only pull the hair halfway through to create a large loop. And then I'm going to grab my hair scarf and tie this over the elastic band, below the braid and above the little bun. For the next braid, I'm going to start with my hair parted on the right side. Then I'm going to lay my scarf along the top of my head about 3 inches back from the hairline and slide a bobby pin over the scarf on the right side of my part. Then I'm going to pick up a section near the part along with the scarf and divide it into 3 sections with the scarf being the backmost section. And I'm creating a Dutch braid, so I'm going to cross the side strands under the middle strand while incorporating new sections into the braid, working down the left side of my head, around the back of my head, near the nape of my neck, and then up towards my right ear. Once all of the hair is combined into the braid, then I'm just going to continue braiding the rest of the section in a regular three-strand braid and tie off the end with a clear elastic band. Then I can lay the braid over the top of my head and pin it in place with bobby pins. And then I'm just going to take the ends of the scarf and tie them together at the top of my head, tucking the ends of the scarf along the back side of the braid. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to take a section of hair on both sides of my head and bring them towards the back and tie them together with a clear elastic band. Then I'm going to flip the tail up and around the elastic band so both sides are twisted. Then I'm going to gently pull on the bottom of each twist to make them bigger. 
And then I'm going to pick up a new section of hair on the left and right side again, underneath the previous twist, repeat the same steps, tying the two pieces together, flipping the tail around the elastic so both sides are twisted, and then gently pull on the bottom of the twist to make them bigger. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, working my way all the way down the hair until I've created six twisted sections. And then I'm just going to take my hair scarf and tie it over the very last elastic band. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to divide my hair into two sections and tie each section into a low ponytail near the nape of my neck. Then I'm going to take my hair scarf and pull it through the elastic band of the right ponytail so the center of the scarf is at the elastic and the ends are equal length on each side. And then I'm going to braid the right ponytail into a regular three strand braid, adding the hair scarf into the outside sections and tying off the bottom with a clear elastic band. And then I'm just going to braid the left ponytail into another three strand braid and tie off the end with a clear elastic band. Now I'm going to wrap the left braid over the top of the right braid and slide in a bobby pin. Wrap the tail clockwise around the two ponytails, pinning it in place with more bobby pins. And then I'm going to take the right braid, wrap it clockwise around the top of the first braid, and pin down the edges with more bobby pins. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to create a Dutch braid along the top of my head. So I'm picking up a section near my forehead, dividing it into three smaller pieces. And I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand while adding new sections into the braid that are right next to the braid for the first three stitches of the braid. And then on the fourth stitch, I'm going to bring in sections from along my hairline. And then I'm going to do three more stitches of a regular braid without adding in any new hair. And then go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make it bigger. And then I'm going to tie off the bottom with a clear elastic band. Then I'm going to take my hair scarf and with an elastic band already wrapped over the middle of the scarf, I'm going to tie this to the end of the braid and then tie the hair scarf in a knot. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to combine all of my hair together and tie an elastic band near the very ends of my hair. Then I'm going to take the hair scarf and slide it through the elastic band so the center of the scarf is under the elastic. Then holding onto the elastic band with the ends of the hair scarf sticking out on each side, I'm going to tuck the ends of the hair under and roll the hair upwards towards my head. Then I'm going to slide a few bobby pins into the hair to hold the roll against my head. And then I'm going to take the ends of the scarf, bring them up both sides of my head and tie them together at the top of my head. Once it's tied, I'm going to go back over the style and tuck in the hair on the sides so they're wrapped around the hair scarf as well and then just pin down any loose pieces with bobby pins. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to start by combining all of my hair into a high ponytail and tying it off with the hairband. Then I'm going to tie an elastic band about 3 inches down from the hairband, pull on the edges of the hair in between the elastics to create the bubble of the ponytail. And then I'm going to wrap a small piece of hair around the elastic and pin it underneath with the puppy pin to hide it. And then I'm just going to repeat those steps twice more to create two more bubbles in the ponytail. And then I'm just going to tie a hair scarf around the hairband at the top of the ponytail. For the last hairstyle, I'm going to start by dividing my hair into three sections along the center of the back of my head, tying each section into a ponytail. The top one being at the crown of my head, the second one lining up with both ears, and the third one down near the nape of my neck. And with the top ponytail, I'm going to pull my hair scarf through the elastic so the center of the scarf sits over the elastic. Then leaving out the hair scarf, I'm going to take the top ponytail, twist it together, and tie it into a knot, making a loop, pulling the end of the ponytail through the center. And then I'm just going to pin down the edges with bobby pins. Now I'm going to take the ponytail ends from the first bun, combine it with the second ponytail, twist the hair together, wrapping it clockwise, pulling the ends through the center to create the second knot, and then slide bobby pins around the edges to hold it in place. Then I'm just going to repeat the same steps with the last ponytail. Then I'm going to take the ends from the hair scarf, loop them around the buns, and tie the ends together at the nape of my neck. That's the end of today's tutorial. Be sure to 